Hello, this is Dale, and Dale Vacation Time. Today we are going to talk about this 3M Leather Environmental Repair Kit that I bought off Amazon. The reason I bought it because I had a jacket that I had a, a, a tear, a big tear, and I knew I could do it myself, even though my friends said I couldn't do it. But I, I looked at all, and this is the one that I picked that was cheap. It's one of the cheaper ones. Okay, now... As you can, well, first let me show you what it did. This is the tear. As you can see, I did such a good job that you can barely see the tear. And thanks to um, the 3M kit, it helped. But a few problems with the kit. To fix a tear, you need backing to glue behind it. And all they give you is a little square, because this is mostly made for furniture like a sofa or something when you get a small hole as you can see like this and mine was like 10 times as big as that so they give you enough material for a little piece of square but what I did is I took the material and I cut it in some rectangles and I was able to get here plus I, I added some more on my own but what you do is you um it comes with glue you take the glue, and I went, it's best to get into the back of the leather, and you take the material, and you glue the material to the leather. So it comes almost together, like this. And then, after that, after the glue is dry, four hours, then whatever color that your sofa is, or whatever, you take this leather, um, I use the black, and you, what I took is, I take a little, they have a little spatula here, but you just take a small line of the, um, whatever color it is, and you put it down, whatever it is, and I don't know who designed this, but they have this little metal thing that it tells you to heat up on iron and put on here. And what it, and along with these um pieces of paper, which I, don't, I can't find right now, but here they are, these papers. <laughs> and what it does, it, it heats the um the color up until it melts like a rubber. And that's how you get the smoothness that I got here. That's pain in the ass. <laughs> here and hold it, and here and hold it, and put in the iron. So smart, smart as me, I tried the iron bit, but hot uh, the iron directly on it didn't work because it got too too hot. So what I did is I took um my flat iron, which was perfect. I put this here, put the painted the stuff, put the paper on, and I put the flat iron gently, put it there until it got hot, and then took it on um, and just kept heating up until it melted enough. You got to make sure it's dry before you take the paper off. And then what it does, and it goes like that, but the, I guess I should have given you some more suggestions. This this sucked. This didn't work. But the flat iron or just a, a low heat, and don't get it too hot. It's just enough to melt the stuff together. Also, you can take this, and after it's done, and heat this up on the, um, on the iron or a little bit, and just gently touch it, and what it does is it melts it together. But you just got to just play around with it a little bit. As you, but as you can see, it, it works pretty well. And it's staying together pretty well. But the main part is to make sure you glue it really good in the back with some good material. And then take your time on this part. And you'll play with it a little bit of time to get used to it. But this, you can tell the rip was huge. My skateboard did it. And it went inside here too. But it's doing really good. I wore the jacket once. It didn't, it didn't rip yet. But the first time I wore it, it ripped because I, I had some cheap paper behind it. But I especially some kind of canvas. Or whatever they send with a the kit, just try to match that. But as you can tell, it's almost like this one brand new again. And also after you do that, then you need to get Lexol conditioner. And what this does is it repairs and it makes your leather shine back up. So after you get done with all this, and you put some of this, and oh shit, crap, sorry. But it looks brand new, you know. So I did the whole leather with a Lexol. From far away, you can't even see that rip. So, anyways, it's a 3M kit. Amazon's got a few of these, but make sure if you have a big rip that you have a big piece of material, use a bigger kit. And if you only have black to worry about, and you, you don't need all, the, all these other colors, but you have sulfur and different colors, and you would need all the other colors. But just you know, just make sure you get the kit that you need. And um, this heating thing was okay, but still, I'm not sure what else is up there. But you, I learned, but still, it was a pain in the ass at first. Especially, especially with the little thing here. Anyways, on 3M, where's the thing at? What's in here? It was like $9 on Amazon. 3M Leather and Vinyl Repair Kit. And, and it works pretty good.